Welcome to an apple a day. We're going to have fun doing this challenge. It is for 30 days. Every morning you will get a video in your mailbox and uh, they're short, they're like two, three minutes with a little demonstration of what I'm talking about and then you go do the same thing. So get some apples, um, make them different large and small, yellow, green, whatever it is. Don't buy them all at once because they do get bad out after a while. But we are looking at different kinds of apples and see what the difference is with different kinds of underground, background, light, contrast. We're all going to look at that. If you have a viewfinder, and you know how to use it, use it. But if if it's a nuisance to you, don't don't do it. Don't get don't get all tangled up because of the viewfinder. An apple is a very simple object. So let's look at the apple in all its simplicity today. Today it's all about simplicity. We have no complicated background. We have a simple background. And we just have an apple with one light source, maybe two. But look at the light source and look at the shadow and where is the light coming from. Then also do understand the principle of hatching and cross-hatching to make a value. If you don't know what it is, just be patient. It will show itself during the whole process. Let's go look at the demo. And um, good luck with the 30-day challenge. I'll see you in our Zoom meeting. I have this little template here that I'm using for the grid that is exactly the same and corresponds with the inside of the viewfinder. It has certain measurements that I always want to be the same. And uh, if I look through the viewfinder, I copy exactly the same on the piece of paper. That is a very strong uh, thing to hold on to. If you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Skip this. If you think you can draw an apple without the viewfinder, then do that. I would say use some kind of frame and tone the paper. Then after you have sm uh, smudged the paper, draw onto that gray, it's graphite, it's pure graphite. I'm using an HB pencil here. I would suggest you do the same, HB and an eraser. And um, have the apple ready in front of you. We're not working from photographs. We're working from the apple. I want you to learn to see the way it is. And you might say, well, an apple is a round thing. I know how it looks like. Yes, but we're going to change the apple. And with the apple, we're going to do different things. So then all of a sudden you would not know how it looks like. So I suggest that you learn to see with me and uh, take the simplicity of an apple as a starting point and not something that is already a given. So now I'm smudging it with a paper towel. Um, I'm going to speed up the, the video a little bit because it's not about the video. It is really about you doing basically what I'm doing. I see the apple in front of me uh, and what it's not really the apple today but it's more the shadow part where is the light coming from and the light source or more casts a shadow I have one light source here which makes it very simple but if you have two draw them both then you erase the grid lines before you start with your hatching and cross hatching. This is called hatching and cross hatching. These are parallel lines 
that we're going to put next to one another um, to make a value. Get rid of these lines because they do not partake in our drawing. And um, I will go from there. So very lightly, make these parallel lines in the darker part of the apple. Then also notice that the shadow part is darker, closer to the apple. Now we're going to erase the lightest light. And we leave the background gray. Now this is your first drawing of an apple. Very simple, very rewarding.